Hello everybody, Kitchen Runner for Kitchen Runner Games, and I am back today with an episode of Zero City. It has been a while since my last video. I meant to do several videos during this event, but it is what it is. I am back. It is the end of the stash raid. So today the goal is to finish up the stash raid, use all my cutters, and see what kind of goodness I can get within uh, within these chests. So first things first, you might notice things a little bit differently here. Usually when I do these, especially on these uh, events where we open up chests or things like that or have screens that refresh uh, it's a lot slower on the emulator so i'm actually going to do this on my phone so i'm streaming this from my phone so you're going to see me doing this a lot i'm sure with my head down uh, but i'm hoping that's going to help the screens refresh quicker so it won't be quite as slow so we can get through a lot more of this than or get through it a lot quicker because this is going to be a long video uh, that is going to be the goal so with this setup it's, it's a little bit different resolution so that's why you got the black bar on the screen it does look a little bit different so i do apologize for that but then the resolution is a little bit um uh, down as well but again that should help us hopefully get through this vent um a little bit quicker all right before i go ahead and open those up i do want to do a quick shout out to everybody who is supporting the channel um we have a new supporter from youtube membership so amrish thank you very much for jumping in and joining the monthly members uh, in addition to amrish thank you to ashton and keith giles for your monthly contributions i very much appreciate that and as always thank you very much to loco for all of your support that you've been giving for a long time now on um by using buy me coffee i very much appreciate that so anybody else is interested in any of uh, the memberships and getting the shout out here you can go ahead and uh look in the description of the video or look on the ticker down below you can see the details on how to do that all right so i have done nothing in this event since this last video uh, i did intend to like i said keep up with it so i didn't have to do this massive amount at the end i realize for you guys 433 is probably not massive but for me it's quite a bit and i've gotten 11 11 bulldozers which i think is where we were at our last video so i've accidentally clicked on a couple things here on the screen but that's that's the only thing i've done so oh, let's go back here as well um as you can see, I've only got one of the specials, which I believe we got in the last video. I I think I got a couple outfits. Obviously, we got one here. We got one of the decorations, um, but that that is that is it. So the goal for me in this video is to obviously get a lot of these premiums and to get cash. So I'm at 2.1 million. I'll be backing out and spending that cash uh, when I can. I want to spend the uh, uranium as well. Um, I've been struggling. I'm trying to build my uh, six of six torch and I'm starting to work on my blood letter as well But the problem is I don't have enough equipment from running the tunnels So this weekend I got through a few tunnels got a little bit of equipment and made some progress there But I don't know if I have enough to, to spend um, To do any more building, you know, unless I look while I'm here That would obviously be a goal of this video as well. So 14 I need three more torch cores but I, as you can see i'm missing these guys so next weekend again with the tunnel i'll go through and get those going and then my blood letter i am working on that as well i have 12 so i can't build those either so yeah i don't know what i'm going to do just hold on to them hopefully nobody steals my uranium or maybe do some recrafting we'll see but that's not the point the point here is we need to make some progress so i'm just going to jump in and start blasting my way through and hopefully i'm going to probably move to the screen here a little bit i don't know if you see the mouse moving or not but um since this is on my phone my computer goes into screensaver mode quite often so i'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible I'll probably make a couple decisions which, whoops, what did I click on? The wrong thing. I'll probably make a couple decisions which aren't optimal, but at this point with 165 glasses to use and 431 cutters to get through, uh, it's okay to make a couple uh, questionable calls, I would say here, in the interest of making this go a little bit quicker. Um, I think I messed up on that one. Oh well, that's fine. All right, I don't even know where I'm at. We have one, two premiums. What's this one? I'm just going to do this just to get rid of it. I don't really care, to be honest with you, but that's fine. Um, these are the ones I need because these are the ones that can give me the the items I need for my my torch and my, not that one, the uh, blood letter. Where is it? This one? No, this one right here. That's what I need, the surgical saw and the energy source so any way i can get those in this video as well would be fantastic all right so we got two premiums we're still looking for the tech team we'll just go right down here oh there we go there's that guy i'm just gonna go ahead and refresh right now at this point 
what's our shape going to be? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh that one. So something else that's been taking my time, obviously, in this last several weeks is multiple events. We had an American Dad event going on. Uh, There's a Hustle Castle event that literally went on for the exact same amount of time. It started the exact same hour and ended the exact same hour. So those events were taking my time for sure. And part of the reason why I didn't get to record as much as I had hoped. And another big item is the Olympics. I'm a, a big fan of watching the Olympics. So um, missing out by doing videos and without having tons of spare time, obviously, I, I, I can't really do both. So um, to the detriment of my channel, I did spend a little bit more time watching the Olympics. In the interest of helping things along, I did make some progress, at least, in some of the uh, the events while the Olympics were going on. More decorations, and not all that special. We got two, so we're looking, what is this? Oh, right. well, shoot, wrong button. Oh, well. So we're still, we need two of these four first. Ooh, there we go, our first cache. Another decoration, and there's our tech team. Last than away here. I think this does not update my number. So yeah, the, the number 11 is what I had at the time the official counter ended. And as you can see in the upper left hand corner, I have four hours to open all these up and that will take me way past my time to go to bed. So hopefully it doesn't take me four hours. Uh, this video will never process otherwise. My goal will be to get this video. I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these up even though it's questionable because my hero needs it. My goal will be able to get this video done and uploaded and processed and released today. Uh, I don't know if I will be able to actually get that done or not, but that is the goal. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm going to, once this is done, post the giveaways uh, on my Discord server. And I have, it's gonna be only open for like a day. So uh, hopefully you're seeing this very, fairly quickly right after I release the video. Um, but if it is, Wednesday or Thursday, you have an opportunity potentially to get in the giveaway. And for those that don't know, I do weekly giveaways on my Discord server and give away 250 crypto coins to 10 separate winners every week. And yeah, that's that's the way to follow it. I'll get them on my YouTube channel again at some point. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm just keeping them on Discord for the moment. And I did do some investigations. You know, I've mentioned in the past that you know we we are on the verge of getting up to like 500 crypto coins. 10, 10, times 10 winners each week um, and oh, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here okay and that was you know what I what I've been told in the past and I just did just recently find out that that's not going to happen sounds like it will not be happening anytime soon and potentially ever we will see so that that was a little bit discouraging 21 I don't think I need that one um, that was a little bit discouraging because it, it was a little bit opposite of what what I was told and expected and there's a couple of other unexpected uh, things that have happened as well. Um, so if you're following my Discord survey, I kind of like hinted towards a couple things coming down the pipeline. And it seems like most of that stuff is not going to happen anymore at this point. So won't get into those details since I didn't really disclose what it was going to be. But had some things in, in line to increase the increase the Discord server and increase um, some interesting things there. But it looks like that will not be happening anymore at this point. All right, where do I want to put this one? Let's go up here, I guess. With that said, Discord server is still a great place to go. Great place to have conversations. If you got any questions for the game, a lot of good people out there know what's going on. So good place to go if you have any questions about the game. And of course, you can ask comments in our questions in the comments here. I don't get to those quite as frequently as I'd like to or as I used to. But that is also another way to get some answers as well. All right, I'm going to waste a cutter. Waste? No, nah, I'm just going to open. Got to get through some of these anyway. There we go. There's one, and since I have two spots left, I'm going to go ahead and just do these. Ooh, look at that! Very nice. That was a free opening, and we get our premium for two days. Very nice. So hopefully, I'm still getting quests here by opening these up. And the objectives, we are, so that's good. Okay, so this will tell us how many we were at. So right now we're at 15, good to know. Daily quest, I didn't finish those. I haven't done much last couple days. With the, with the playing I was doing in all the events um, and with the Olympics on, increased crit, okay. And 
and um, a little bit of burnout, work schedule getting crazy again. I haven't uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot in any of the games since uh, since the events ended. But I didn't want to miss on everything that I've collected here, so that's why we are going through these now. Still 400 plus to go. Ooh, tech team already, nice. So where are we at? We have two premiums on the board and two spots left. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and do those. So again, I've said in the past, if you're trying to optimize these, you don't need to, you don't need to collect these, especially, well, if you just click on it, of course you need to collect it. But if you use the goggles to see them, you don't need to collect them. You can save them. If, the, if this number is lower, not that one. This 407, if the range was like 405 to 430, you know, you might want to put it back in and try again and get a higher reroll and get a better number. But I'm just taking everything in the interest of time and in the interest of the fact that I, keep, I plan on playing this game for a while. There, I'll get some things good, some things bad. In the long run, I'll still come out ahead and do okay. So I'm okay with that. And again, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take every single thing I think to start working on for my hero probably not the best option but at the same time since i don't bunker as often as i should it is still going to be helpful to me so i'm not going to do that one i will do you and you so with five on the board three of them being things i'm looking for i will go ahead and just open them all Bad. This tech team, and this will be a premium item that I probably won't use. That's fine. So that right there, when I do that screen refresh, that is definitely when things are a little bit slower. And for some reason, my uh, emulator has been going a little bit slower again lately. So didn't want to take the chance of this being too painfully slow. So that again is the reason that I went ahead. Oh man, look at all the stuff on the screen. I went ahead and. Uh, um, do that one. That's the reason I'm playing here on my phone. So, all right. So I need to go ahead and look at where I'm at for cash at the moment. We'll collect all the stuff that we want. The goggles for sure. The cutters for sure. This one, taking those. And an epic blueprint for sure. That's everything, right? It is. No tech team yet. Okay, let's go see where we're at for money. Six million. I will be doing this periodically, going to see. I don't even know what leveling I need to do at the moment. I did do something weird with my setup at the moment, and it's oddly enough working out quite well. I'm not running a tank. So I was running a four or six peacekeeper with a two of six torch for the weapons. I finally have my first two blood letters. So I wanted to, just to test it out really quick because this, this will be a setup that I'll be doing once I get six fighters going, having a four or six. I highly recommend it. Definitely four or six peacekeeper and then a two of six blood letter. Definitely a great build, especially when you got the reanimation attachment here. Very, very important. But I don't know that it's very important when you're only have three level level 100s on your team, so it's kind of weird. But I did this change. The only thing I did, I just changed the weapons. Everything else is exactly the same, and I think I've been having more success. The railroad's gotten a little bit easier. It's still not fantastically easy, but it's still a little bit easier. And the arena, I've been winning potentially more often. So, and I also changed my hero um, setup as well. I'm now running the uh, reanimation, which has been helping. So. I have my three main people doing all the work and then my everybody else's reanimation. So it's been working pretty good. And again, my goal is to keep my power down. But once I get my uh, six of six torch, I'm going to switch over there and I assume that will make things better. I do have a deal here. What is this? Oh, yes, that would be nice, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks. OK, let's go spend some cash. Um, items equipped. Let's look here first. We got no epics. And the goal is going to be chem knowledge here for sure. And I can't do much else up here. We have one crit and two health. Okay. So now let's go crit. Three of those. Okay, good. Health. Oh, look at that. I am going to go ahead and put those in right now. 
I'm gonna have to check my, uh, make sure I don't raise my power too much, but I won't get in any battles, so we'll be fine there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these, pay the price, because we're gonna be getting a lot of gold here. Done, and we're gonna work on building a crit, so we're gonna max this one out first. So we'll upgrade, crit, I think I've mentioned this before that Hustle Castle added a button here on the right hand side of the screen. And I don't know if you can see my mouse here again, but uh, that right there basically says I have 4 million gold, whatever. It'll give me as much stuff for my 4 million gold or cash rather than the 6 million, which I obviously don't have, so I can't afford it. So, and now I have to back it out. So it's, it's a nice little change and it comes in very handy for these types of things. So I assume that's going to be coming here in this version of the game. At some point, probably soon, because I'm noticing that you know Zero City used to be nine months behind the build for Hustle Castle, but when the really good things come out, Zero City starting to release them a whole lot earlier. So hopefully that continues to be the case, and we get to see uh, see that kind of stuff added here sooner rather than later. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take you. Uh, goggles. I'm not gonna work on the goggles yet. Soon for sure, though. And I can get more goggles for my completing my objectives as well, so I don't need to be quite as um, pulling in all of them that I can. Ooh, nice. Two cash already. We're not getting quite as much cash as the recent Zero City or uh, Hustle Castle event. That was ridiculous. I talked about that in the last video. It's it is truly ridiculous the amount of cash I got in that event. It was a fantastic, fun event, and I'm sure it will be coming to the Zero City as well. Um, it's a new new style event, which hasn't been part of this game yet, and they kind of combined it with part of this event with the objectives and the quests and everything like that. So, again, I fully expect it to come, and it is, uh, it is one that is going to give a lot of good stuff, so be on the lookout for that one. I'm going to take these as well. All right, let's see where we're at as far as total total items here. So none of those yet, obviously, because we haven't opened the chest, but here. So we're still looking for the three pieces of gear, and we're looking for three more workers. Purple goo, money, and green goo. And then we're done with all of those. Nice. All right, there's really no reason for me to back out because I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a losing battle. 379, making progress. We're 17 minutes in. Expected this video to go over an hour. It's looking like it might. I'm going to go ahead and refresh right now. It's gonna give us extra goggles. We're gonna come out ahead since I have the premium pass. We used one, got two of them, so we made two on that one. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go, there's one of our event items. So we have a bracelet. Once in a while, creates a shield around the cell for two seconds. The shield's durability equals 50% of own max health. Okay. I can find use for that, I bet. Hmm. Premium. All right, here, here's, here's my question here. This seems like a pretty good board. Is it really worth... Hmm. I have noticed in the past that a good board tends to give even even more good items. So is it worth continuing on this board or should I refresh? I'm just gonna refresh. Because I don't know I don't know what I don't know. Three more goggles. Again, we come out ahead on goggles on that one. Just blast through as quickly as possible before collecting things here. Cash, very nice. Oh, oh almost clicked on the wrong spot. Hmm, I don't know where I want to put that one. All right, let me collect what I'm going to get here. Here's some cash. Um, this is not very good. In general, I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Okay. What is this? Yeah. Probably not good enough. So we will go here, I guess, huh? That allows only one other item. This will allow one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way you look at it, I can only potentially have... Oh, man, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. And wrong shape. 
All right, so we have tech team, one special. I'm wasting a couple cutters here. Probably didn't need to, but oh, there we go. We got the uranium at 53. Nice, that seems like a good one. Let's go see what the range was on that one. So, ooh, look at that. Top, 44 out of 53. That was the best I possibly could have gotten on that one, so fantastic. It's hardly worth spending a cutter on one purple material, I don't think, so it's listed as premium, but to me, that does not seem very special. For those of you that bunker, I'm sure this does not seem special to you, but for me, who doesn't who doesn't bunker, um, that is still useful for me. Got to do a times two, of course. So one, two. We're missing. What is this one? Wrong shape. We're just missing the tech team here. There we go. So I mean, it's probably not worth it, but I'll take it. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I was trying to see what this was. It's certainly not worth it. This gives me the best odds for a weird shape that can work, or pretty much any shape that can work. I go in there. Tech team. One, two, that's everything. Okay. I forgot I was taking all these these two uh, parts here. I need to keep keep doing that. Just gonna go here this time. What is that? Yeah, don't need a wood uniform. Get to the point at some point in the game later on where you don't really even need to work on wood wood uh, workers. They don't really get you anything. So um, certainly don't need to spend any opportunity getting any of those. Another two I almost missed. Alright, one more missing. This one's the bad one, yes. Cash, we gotta go spend that cash again, looks like. One, two. We're missing one premium yet. Two premiums yet, I guess. All right, let's just go ahead and do these then. There's one. And two. All right, let's go see where we're at for cash. Nine million. Let's go spend nine million cash in a matter of no time. So I'm going to continue upgrading that crit chip so I can max maximize this one. Max that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that one in so I can save 250000 in cash later. The mistake I always make. So if I put in an epic, it only costs me 250 And then I can merge there or unify there rather than... Let's do that. Paying 500 to put it in. Put the uh, legendary in. Go back to upgrade. Back to crit. U. Max, which again we... Ooh, we do have enough to do that. Nice. All right, so now we just need to get up to 4 million and then we'll get maxed out legendaries on our ranger. Very nice. Yeah. That will definitely be coming at some point soon. All right, refresh, done, good. Cash, there we go, we got four million now, but I'll just wait a little bit. Tech team. So is it worth no nope. refresh? Always worth a, a shot right there. Free cutter. 
two hour cache. Nice. Another free cutter. This is a fun board. Two free cutters, two two caches. 924. Let's go see how good that one is. 24 right in the middle a little bit on the higher side not bad i'll take it i was gonna take it no matter what but i'm happy with that result we'll put it that way more cash very nice keep them coming So what are we looking for? We still got two premiums and tech team. All right, oops, wrong spot. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Refresh. Go ahead and do my uh, unification here. Something somebody asked me the other day. I didn't even consider it as an option. So I'm going to go unify. We'll say crit you, and then we'll go chips in use. Go to ranger. The question that somebody said is, why did you go ahead and pay? Because if you don't have any uh, blueprints, uh, it, it costs 500, I think, uh, cryptos. Somebody said, why didn't you go ahead and just go to Railroad and get a scroll there or a, uh, whatever we're calling this guy, a scroll of success there. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think about it, but that is a good idea because the only thing I ever buy from the Railroad store is um, Epic Chips. Uh, but I guess there are instances when it is useful to buy something else or more expensive, but um, it gives you a guaranteed chance you don't have to pay 500 coins. So if you don't do that, it's something you probably should consider. And I never even gave it a thought, so I do appreciate that tip. Ooh, there we go. So we got to take one quick moment to step out and take a look at our Ranger being our first fully maxed out orange legendary chip fighter. Very nice. Um, long way to go, but this will be working on Psycho next. And infantry lot is doing okay. Obviously, I have other weapons and things here. Have run a few different items there. I don't think I have any chips on any of them. Um, obviously, my goal is to make my tanks as strong as possible. And crit is not going to help there magic armor is i might our chem chem armor sorry so i might actually go ahead and put that one on and none of those because i don't really the, the dodging maybe but the crit and the damage i'm not doing much damage here right now so it's not really worth it and in concern i'll be switching that out for torch once i get my torch going more reason why i guess i shouldn't do anything on there because i don't plan on keeping any of that on until i get a six six by 100 squad squad going which is a long ways down the road long ways down the road i don't even know when i'm going to do it i already have you know i've been through that in hustle castle so i'm in no hurry to do that now and that's why i'm kind of running this setup because once i get to six by 100 there's there's always stronger people out there and there's always better people that are willing to spend more money there's always people who just you know play the game more that have better stuff so there's always going to be people better no matter what level you're at in the game so for me rushing to get up there doesn't get me anything other than um, just fighting at a higher power and I, I like the power I'm at right now I like the area I'm at right now so I'm just gonna stay here and, and keep that going for a while and then if I feel like having something bigger then I go to my hustle castle build which is currently 7 by 100 so um, it's nice to have different areas to play the games all right so we got the field marshal device on death summons a scarecrow decoy next to the enemy the owner if none then the next random enemy scarecrow causes enemies yeah that's that's not going to be used. Okay, let's go. But I'm still going to take it. Just not going to use it. Where are we? There we go. Very nice. Yeah, why not? I got a ton of these. I bought a bunch. Got many from other events really don't need them but kind of hard to, to turn them away 140 and 300 i'm still gonna wait on the goggles for a moment 
I have tech team, I have three premiums, we're done, okay. Yes. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, me clicking on the wrong spot again, that's what we have. 9% chance of dealing extra damage, okay. Not a premium item, but still, no, nevertheless, a uh, legendary, which is nice. No, don't do that one. I want to do this one. No, this one. There's really no point in me continuing on this board. I didn't realize they had tech team already. Even though I clicked on it, so obviously I knew. So all this opening, all this progress I made, I still have 300 to go. So I've said before that this is, I do it very much enjoy this event and the style of it because there's so much play, more epic blueprints. We still won't need to buy any. Uh, yeah, I very much enjoy this style of event because it has a lot of play and you get to do a lot of stuff and you get a lot of good stuff. The problem I have is I don't get to play it as much as I normally do because I try to save things for videos and then I end up having it all at the end on the video and it makes for a massively long one. So that is the only downside, but that's obviously my own fault on that. It was one thing I tried to prevent from happening and I failed miserably. One, two, three, let's go ahead and just take this. Eh. Okay, I'll take it. Two, very nice. All right, let's go collect here. There's one. Oh man, wrong spot again. Good thing I got so many, it doesn't matter as much if I waste them. Um, 45. I think we said 53 was the best, but whatever, I'll take it. So I think that's the last of my uniforms. I think I need to go check my cash again. Fresh. Seven, we can go up to 15. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, misclick, but we'll take it while we're here. So I'm looking for the spear and the purple goo suit. Thirty-two versus our fifty-three. Not quite the same league. Oh. Man, I am misclicking. I'm click putting things in a wrong spot. That's right. We have a lot of stuff here. I will get to the point probably where I'll start wasting some of my some of my goggles to get two out of three that I can use, but I'm not quite there yet. That was not a very exciting board, I gotta tell you. More cash, I think that puts us at nine. 10.5, all right, we definitely need to go after the screen. Misclick, misclick, and it worked out. But there's so much cash on this board, I'm going to do more on this board in hopes that I uncover some more cash. Normally, I would do a refresh here, but I'm certainly going to hold off and hope that luck continues the way it's going here. Oh, and we got our last worker outfit. More cash, very nice. 
That certainly is the way things often seem to go. I need to figure out how to, I don't have that many misclicks when I have the uh, emulator going, so that is the downside with what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna click on all these in hopes of getting another, another cash. All right, I got greedy, but still got some good stuff, that's fine. Eleven point nine million. My favorite part of this event is the amount of cash that you get. So we finished our ranger. I, yeah, we have one of those. I'm just um, max. Yes, fine. I'll just do a bunch of leveling and I'll install them later. Sooner, sooner rather than later, but just not right now. It'd be great if we can level all of these up before this video is over. What are we looking for? 3.5 million. So this is the part that's kind of annoying when you don't have that just use all your cash button. Yeah. Ooh, we're under 300, 299 to go. Premium and more cash, fantastic. Keep them coming to every screen. If I get four or five of those, that would be nice. I'd start running out of the resources I need to do anything about it, but it'd still be nice. I had that happen in one of my Hustle Castle events where I didn't have any uh, dust to level my gems up, so I ended up wasting tons and tons of gold cash equivalent in that game. All right, not very exciting, but can't turn down a legendary item. Maybe someday that could be useful. What shape do we have here? I'm just going to do it because we're close to the end. So you got two left, and they're both premiums. No, one of them is premium. That's right, I'm going to do it. Ooh, nice. Wrong button. So I will open up those chests at the end. Now you see I have the five premium chests there. I'm just gonna blast through all of them at the end. I'll keep collecting them and get through all of them at once. Or maybe I'll take a break in the middle. I don't know, I usually save them for the end, but I might do it different this time, just to break it up for something different. Do have a question, you know, whoever is actually, I think most people probably fast forward to the end to, to see me open the chest, but is this aspect of me doing videos even interesting when I just have my head down, just blasting through these screens? Is it interesting to see the stuff that shows up? Uh, is it interesting to see how it's different than what you're doing or is it pretty boring? I, I imagine it would be kind of boring. So I'm curious if this, I know people have told me in the past, I've asked me in the past to open up chests and, and see what's in them because people like to see them. I need to refresh the screen. Um, and, you know, that's fantastic. I'm very happy to do that. And this is, you know, I, I always like to save this type of content so I can do them in videos as well. That's what I've been doing. But I know with this specific event, it goes on for a very long time. The videos are really long. So I am curious if me going through these screens is interesting to see. Um, and you won't hurt my feelings. I mean, you don't need to, you don't need to be mean, but just honest feedback. I'm actually curious about that. Um, and if it turns out that nobody really wants to have these massively long videos of me just smashing the board, just like you guys have been doing, then I might like just save up the premium stuff and just do this premium stuff at the end. Um, it seems like that might be a little bit more interesting rather than, you know, seeing me smash all these boards, which you guys have done tons of them as well. And that would allow me to get through, um, get through this event easier as well, because I'll just use them as I, as I get them. Just curious. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, we already have all of our premium. Don't have tech team. There we go. Because, you know, the reality is I still have 281 more of these to go yet. We're down to, what do we got? Three hours, three and a half hours left in the event. Should be able to have time to get through it, obviously, but it makes for a 
extremely long video going through it. Hmm, over there, I guess. Going ahead to smash all of these since I don't have a good shape for my goggles. Good thing about that board is we got through a whole bunch of cutters on that one. Finding any of the premium items. Oh, look, they're all right there. That's funny. Yes. And yes. And I'm going to say no on the other one. So, more than likely, that means the tech team is right around here somewhere as well. Nope. I guess it's not. Let's go ahead and take these. Like I said, I'm just going to take them just to hopefully be able to level up my hero a little bit more soon. In general, I would call that a waste of a cutter. That I wasn't looking for. Misclick again, but got lucky. Trying to go quickly, making mistakes, but minor. Minor items. Uh, yes, that's fantastic. Ten legendary components, wonderful. Two cutters, wonderful. So we're just looking for tech team here. There it is, very nice. Ooh, look at that. First one. We come out plus two on the goggles. Just try that again. Two premium items. Very nice. One cutter. We get one back. We use two goggles. We get two back. Get a day of premium. Not a bad board so far. Yeah, I don't know if the zombies assistant is worth it either. But I'll go ahead and do it. But not least, again, 250. We're getting there. Down below 250. Maybe I'll get to 200 and I'll open up some of the chests just for a, a break in the pace here. Do it a little different. When I go to the end, it doesn't always get me everything, so maybe splitting it up will allow me to get everything. I doubt it. I don't play this nearly as much as everybody else does, so I think that would be why I don't get everything. <laughs> don't know let's go bad idea let's go here other good thing about this event is getting all of these wonderful epic blueprints get a bunch of legendaries too but I just don't use those alright one two we got that's it okay That's not exciting. Hmm. 
96. That was that one. And we're done with the last outfit. Not bad. 996 out of 1004. That was right near the top as well. Yeah. What is that? 97, 98%? I'll take it. Definitely got some pretty good rolls as far as uniforms go. Worker uniforms. Didn't check them all, but the ones I did check worked out really good. Two eleven. We just hit number seven. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a couple of these just for just for a break in pace here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen premium items. So far, we got one. And obviously, the big complaint of many people is the fact that um, often these chests have a bunch of nothing. I mean, there's a chance to get some things, obviously, but they're very often full of nothing. Um, so a lot of people complain about this event because of the way these chests are. But again, like I said before, it's not that exciting if you get everything every time. So I like the variety. Um, plus, you know, it, it gets people to play longer and more as well. So um, I'm okay with the way it's uh, implemented. Oh, ooh, there we go. Nice, we got two of them in that one. So we got the window we don't care about, and we have the artillery terror grenade. Once in a while, restores 10,000 health and an ally and inspires that ally that deals the greatest damage enhancing their damage by 125 percent for three seconds this is something that i think could be quite useful for a um bigger squad than mine having six 100s having this as a support person you know the restoring is obviously very good looks like it's only one ally instead of um an instant instant restore instead of over four seconds which i think is the best um but you know allowing your greatest damage dealer to do more damage that's a pretty good deal i think so um it'd be good but i don't really i can't really run that setup with where i'm at at the moment so plus we got hundred thousand uranium too that was a good chest Ooh, yes yes that's like the best ever two more torches to go now i am two torches away from getting my 606 torch fantastic plus 545 cryptos Ooh, yeah i like that one that is nice all right well i'm just gonna keep going while we're here this is one reason i like to save everything at the end when i got things rolling good i want to keep having them rolling good so i don't want to back away we only have seven, so we obviously have to stop at some point. And 100,000 uranium again. So one, two, three, four, five. Five of the 14 done so far. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see what this was. I'm looking for reanimation for my ranger, but obviously I went legendary. All right, that one wasn't as good, obviously. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Reanimation? I don't know, you know, that's even a possibility here. And what do we have here? The dress coat suit. Once in a while, binds their health to a random enemy. During that bind, 100% of the damage to the suit owner will also be dealt to the bound enemy. Yeah, this I don't think is going to be highly useful, unless you can ensure that this person is going to get damaged a lot, so. Um, yeah, I don't love that one. Got another one to go. I thought we were done. Oof, man, I, I definitely should have waited <laughs> to open them until the end. Maybe I wouldn't have quite as good of luck, but I'd say I'm having some pretty good luck right now. When attacking, 13% chance to do a lot of damage in 5 seconds once in a while spreads a smoke screen. Affected enemies are stunned for 1 second. The next attack, knife owner deals 75% more damage. It's okay. It's better than basic daggers anyway, but not super, super great. All right, so 4, 5, 6, 7 of the 14 done so far. Fantastic. That was, that was really wonderful. All right, let's keep going. Get some more. See if we can't get lucky again. There we go. The luck continues. And we got this one. We got the spike. 10% chance doing quad. Base damage. Spike is increased. Attacks have 25% chance to do real damage to all enemies in a small radius around the target. Also, random affected enemies will be 
additional receive more damage okay that seems like that could be useful for uh people that are running that setup i i'm a long ways away from that one yet but that's nice And I believe that was the last of the higher level event items from the boards. We got the last worker out uniform. We got the last piece of gear. So now it's just a matter of getting some more of those chests at the end. Gonna try to pick up the pace here, but I can't really go a whole lot quicker other than just like smashing every board. Obviously that would be the quickest, but that is kind of a waste of all the effort I put in. Not exciting. One, two, three, that's everything. And maybe we'll come back and get that later, I don't know. Ugh, this is not a fun board at all. Probably should have put that in a different spot. There we go, what is this? Anomalous core. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing Outcast. At least, I don't know what that one is, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure that one's never going to be built. But I'll take it anyway, because who knows? I can't I keep trying to click on this data key, and I can't get it. There we go. Key card. We'll take that, too. Uh, this one, sure, why not? So now I just need to find... Ooh, it turns out that was the perfect place to put those. Ooh, where's our cash? I haven't been looking at the cash situation lately. You better check that out. Well, what a major bummer. We got to go to the last one here. As always, hey, cash. There it is. Where are we? We are at 4.5, not too high, and 338,000 in uranium. Okay, so we're fine on cash for a moment. Yes. I'm hoping I'm going to open all those up. We don't have the times 10 yet in this game. I think I mentioned that in the last video as well. Oh, I just wasted that one. Oh, well. Uh, we don't have the times 10 yet in this event where it allows you to open up 10 chests at once. Not a event in this, um, in Zero City. They, that's a recent addition to Hustle Castle, so I expect that one to come here as well. Um, so I've gotten so many of those chests, you know, you open up one, and then it allows you to open up 10, so you can just do two two openings to open up 11 at a time or a total of 11 so highly useful um and plus it's fun to see all the stuff that you get from opening up 10 chests at once the screen just gets filled and filled with all kinds of goodies from the chest so it's kind of fun to do that it would be highly helpful for me opening those chests to see if i can get enough materials to build another torch core are we done here with any paying attention one we got two premiums here. Let's take them. Okay. Food crate. Yep. Take it. Ooh, look at that. Our first, uh, I think, legendary chip. Very nice, plus more uranium, very nice. Plus a food crate, very nice. This is a nice little board we got going here. In general, this could potentially be good, but I know now it's not, um, with all the legendary items that have been released, it's not gonna be what I'm looking for. Here, here, okay. So we are looking for tech team. Last but not least, again, again, the good news is it allows me to uh, use a bunch more cutters. Epic chem knowledge, very nice. I. Very happy to get that. Right, where 
am I here, I think. Yeah. Thirty-three percent oh no, we got all the premiums. Okay, we're done. Getting a lot of legendary materials in this event as well. Not too shabby. finding the tech team very late in the game i know that's very common especially when you don't have you, know, you didn't buy the premium pass where that guy shows up at the end almost every single time all right i got a that's 1420 for food uh we'll just skip it that's fine again trying to go as quickly as possible that's what i meant to click on What is this? Yeah. That's not very exciting. Not like the 1.5 million in cash. Oh, wrong shape again. Come on. Alright, well, we need a couple good things here yet, so not a problem opening all those up. Two premiums left. Ooh, hello. Reduces max health of all chemists. Okay, I don't know. Maybe one day in the future. Definitely need to have like seven or eight people in my squad to make use of something like that, I think. Certainly not three 100s. That's not going to cut it. Food crates seem to be coming out a lot lately, I'm noticing. Get a lot of these as well. There it is. All right, let's go find a way to spend some cash. 7.5 million. I can do a merge on that one. Unification. Or maybe I'll just max it out. I think I'm just going to max it out for now. Max you out. Definitely uh, getting down on my components. I'm going to have to do some way to do some leveling there. All right, 2.5, so take a million away. Doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, we'll be getting a bunch more. Nobody's going to be stealing it because I'm not going to be leaving the game. All right, where are we here? New board. Under 200, 186 to go. And the video is almost an hour in already. Woo-wee. This will be a new record, I think. Last time we were here, I ended up... Uh, pausing it, doing a bunch of those off camera, and then uh, getting back on for the end. Um, in the interest of my off-screen time, I don't think that is going to happen. And I don't know if I'll be able to get to posting the giveaway tonight either, So, or getting this video processed before I need to get to bed. So uh, we'll take that one. Um, yeah, so the stuff I said at the beginning, that's all gonna be delayed by a day probably. Because this, we still got a ways to go yet here, and I got some other stuff to get done before uh, before bed. So this is just a really bad board. No, this one. Here we go. Ooh, got lucky. It's quite incredible how often this shows up as the last item on the board. I know it's been said in the past a lot that that is what happens, but 
I haven't noticed it be this bad in the past. Ooh, there we go. Tech team right off the bat. Nice. Take it. Refresh. Move. So as you can see, I now have 104 goggles and 175 cutters. So I'm going to be having plenty of goggles. So I certainly don't need to be collecting them on the board unless something drastic happens here. So getting the three goggles every screen, huge help for just continuing to be able to use goggles and play this event. So that is one of the main reasons why I don't collect them on the board unless I get near the end. Plus these objective chests, you see I have five of those, I gotta open those up. Um, those often have goggles in them as well, which I almost always forget and uh, pace myself out wrong, but this time I won't forget. Is this one? No, don't want it. We should do. Let's do this. Break up the uh, silence of me not talking. Put some music on here. Although you guys probably don't want to hear it because you hear plenty, <laughs> plenty yourself when you're playing. Let's get away from the rain too. Let's go up here, it's fine. Hmm. Don't have a good setup here. Let's go in the corner. Random pieces all over the board. A bunch of those now. One, two, three, that's everything. Eight hundred thousand food. Very nice. That'll come in handy. Oh, look at that! I misclicked again. Come in handy for doing the tunnel, which obviously I need to do to do more core crafting. They did start increasing the number of tags available on the weekends as well. Man, every time I keep misclicking. So it allows people to grind the tunnel a little bit longer. I did a little bit this weekend, like I said, um, which was good because people were getting, like the whole thing was closing in like less than 24 hours for a while. It was getting really bad. So it's nice that they finally made that uh, change to give us more, more tags to get on the weekends. I actually thought it was set up the same way Hustle Castle was where it's gonna, it's dynamically flexing itself based on how people are playing. So if, if the tags run out really quick one weekend, the next weekend they'll add a bunch more. So there's a lot more available to get. And if it drags on too long and it goes through like Monday or whatever into the following week, then it closes a little bit earlier and they remove some. So it's a lot, uh, it's gonna be less. So that way, as the number of players in the game grow or the number of people decided to grind goes, uh, it increases the uh, increases or decreases based on the player base. So it's, uh, it's a good system. And I'm surprised they don't have that here in this game. Uh, I do see the numbers are up, but they, I don't know that I see them growing all the time. All right, again, I'm gonna do a little bit more on here if I get a good set, see if I can uncover some more cash. Okay, that's it. Down to 150, getting there slowly but surely. All these misclicks are making it go quicker as well. That would have been perfect, but I can't do that since I misclicked. 
cash. Very nice. Looks like I get to go spend a little bit of that cash here pretty soon, I think. Again, come on, legendary, not legendary, I meant uh, reanimation. One day I'll get one. Probably need to buy them in the uh, arena store, to be honest with you. But I'm just hopeful I'll get lucky somewhere else. One, two, okay. This is three times on one screen I clicked on the wrong thing? I think so. Cutters have not been, or my goggles have not been going down. I think we we're at like 102 a while ago. I'm still at 97. Those things do not seem to be disappearing. So I have plenty of those left over at the end of the event. Ugh, this is not good. That's fine. Whatever. Usually just skip the cryptos. I think at this point I'm going to start taking them too. In the interest of uh, doing more smashing goggles, I just said I'm not going to do. Also means I can start wasting a little bit more on the goggles. Even if it isn't, it isn't a perfect fit. I think now is the time to start doing that. The board's... Okay, we're done with the board. Blue damage. In my mind is not worth getting anything unless it's epic or better. So this time I can do that. Wasn't perfect. Ooh, nice. Another chem knowledge. Wasn't a perfect fit, but it worked. Still looking for that tech team. Of course, at the end. And pop out real quick and see where we're at for cash again. 7.5. If we can make it a little further. This is not a chair to be sitting in for a very extended amount of time, I must tell you. Whatever, just take that one. No, I'll take this one. Did I miss the tech team? Oh, it's here. There we go. All right, I need to go spend some more cash, it looks like. Looks like for starters, we need to go ahead and integrate with Psycho. Unfortunately, we only have three on that one. That's a bummer. Okay, we got some here, so let's go ahead and put in one, two, I'm going to just put all three of them in right now. It's fine. Expectation is I'll be able to do all of those before this video is over. Unify. You. And. You. Looks like I already had an orange I could have used, but I can put that somewhere else. That's fine. Um, 
so that means let's go back to integrate chips in use psycho no 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 how come I oh I need to go back that's why okay equipped items psycho two no no here we go use let's put this one in there we go Getting lots of extra chemistry knowledge here for our Psycho. Can't wait to see how that works out. Now we can get back to here. Max that one out. Four million. Let's hold off at the moment. Yeah. 121 more to go. Yeah, I'm not going to waste that one. Yes, that one. I never had so many problems clicking on the screen. I don't know if they did things differently or what. I know in the past there was a problem with this event, and it certainly happened in Hustle Castle as well, where the screen itself would actually freeze up all the time, so you'd have to you couldn't click on anything. You have to back out and get back in in order to make it work. So I wonder if this is part of the, the fix to that, because I haven't really seen that happen here. Um, if that's part of the fix, and now it's just a little bit more touchy on where you touch things. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. Almost up to five premium event chests again. Jetpack. Headhunter. There we go. This is a good one. Again, I'm not doing my headhunter. This will be the one I'll do once I finish my blood letter. Probably be the next one I'll build. Um, maybe. But that's a long way down the road. Certainly won't be using it anytime soon, but I will happily take the cores if you want to give them to me. Let's go here, why not? To refresh. It would be really interesting to see. It would be way too much effort to actually spend the time doing it. But interesting to see if anybody actually calculated the amount of goodness that they get in this event. I mean, just the total number of legendary items I'm getting, the total number of components, um, the total amount of cash. I mean, it's a, a really, really large amount, which is why one of the reasons why this event is so good because they. You know there is so much that you can get. Um, I'm kind of curious what you know what some of those totals are. Obviously, we are seeing a ton of cash, and that allows for leveling up those uh, orange chips. The key there, obviously, is to make sure you have enough of the materials that you can do the leveling. And I am running very low. Another core, very nice. Another. There we go. Anomalous core for toxin, which is reptile. Don't need that yet, but I'm sure I can find a use for that one when I decide to do some recrafting. Or if I get better gear, I want to replace it with. Certainly we'll have a place at some point to use that one. It's truly amazing how often I'm clicking on the wrong spot. So I go here, I can't do anything. If I go here, I have a chance to do one. And no. Okay, let's go ahead and click on it. Ooh, down to 100. One hour and 14 minutes in, down to 100. I did say it was going to be a long video. But I will say this is much longer than I expected. I thought with somehow things would go a little bit quicker with the phone, but uh, I guess I should have known better. 
The good news is down to the last 25% of what I had. Running again. Well, I'm getting lots of other stuff too that I didn't plan on getting. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this one. Hmm. So we're looking for one item. Let's just go ahead and do this. And I'll start start spending them more. Again, the last one. Incredible. there. Go ahead and do the refresh right now. Oh, there we go. Cash right from the beginning. Hopefully that's a big cash board. Ooh, two. Two universe two. Plus double data. Nice. This is uh, looking to be a good board here. Yeah, that's not the wrong button. Not so special there. Hmm, not a good place for this one. Put it there. More cash, very nice. Oh. I think I could probably get like three or four, or maybe five more boards with all the uh, misclicks that I've had going here. That is quite incredible. Eight point eight million in cash. I think I had enough to do uh, two legendary unifications, but I don't have another. Uh, I only have one ready to go. Take the premium, premium cryptos. easier to use a different finger. I already have tech team. When did I get that? I just got it, I guess. One, two. So we're still missing one premium item. Oh, no, it's there. I don't want it. Okay. Ooh, we've got more goggles left now than cutters. That means I really need to start uh, being inefficient with my goggles. Where are we? 10 million. Could have spent it, but yeah. just do this. We'll go. 10 million allows us to do two things here. So we'll go max, max you. And then we can unify. We've got two ready to unify now, which is nice. Next time we get to 4 million, we can finish that last one out. The real question is, what do I have? I have four more to upgrade. And I certainly won't have enough cash to do all, all of those and unifications. All right, we got a cash here to get. Okay, definitely take that one. Let's just do that. Can do it again. Um, this one, I guess. 
And we're wasting a ton of ton of goggles on this screen. What is that gonna get me? Stores. I'm gonna take it. I don't think I will ever use that, but just in case it could be useful for a little while. Oh, I'm done. No, I'm not done. Of course. Lost one. Yeah, I might be able to find use for that once I get a bigger squad, but more than likely I'll have a legendary one by that point. Um, really, your chemist should have attachments that are reanimation. But in case you don't have them, you know, if something else in the meantime might work. These are just not good shapes. I'm going to cut my losses right now and go to the next. I'm going to go here to try something different. Let's go to the objectives and just clear all these. It's just getting the chat. Ooh. I forgot that we can actually... Ooh, nice. A legendary item for food collecting. Plus a legendary blueprint. Well, that's a nice little uh, opening. We're not getting the premium event items, but there's still some good stuff in here. More two goggles. Teddy bear. Nice. The skin. I can put this on my uh, temporary blood litter. Very cool. I guess it says it right there, so I should have known I was getting it, but I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, two ledgers. Nice. 6.2%. Very good. And nothing special. I don't think I've ever had this many good items show up in these over here. Another legendary uh, item. Wow. I don't know. What? What is going on? Maybe the key is to open up all your stuff with two hours to go in the event. Epic. Yeah, that's good, but probably won't use that. Very nice. Wow. All right. Let's keep it going over here, then. 61 more to go. And we're currently at approaching seven premium chests open. I'm not backing off this board, that's for sure. 25% chance to, yeah, it's not useful at all, but I'll take it. Worst case, I can break it apart. I said I'm not gonna back up the screen, but if my cash gets up, I'm gonna have to, obviously, so that might not be true. No, yes. Mm, at this pace, it might happen sooner rather than later with all the cash I'm getting here. Not a bad problem to have, I must tell you. I will happily take that problem. More uranium. I feel like I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot better stuff on the board than I've gotten in the past. Might not be, but it just feels that way. Seems to be a lot of good stuff coming. Right, where's my tech team? I already have it somewhere. Where's my last premium item? I have that too. Okay, we're done. I got lucky to get that last cash, which I said I wasn't leaving, but I did, so. Let's go spend that cash, chips, upgrade, unify, you, you, chips used. Very nice. What's that, five new, uh, Chem chips for Psycho. I can't wait to test this out. I'll have to do some testing tomorrow, um, if I can. My work schedule, again, is crazy. The night schedule has been a little bit crazy, so. Um, oh, man, I got off that screen. Hopefully I didn't just change all my luck. Whatever. Fine. Keep it going. Anyway, I will test it soon. Hopefully I have another video coming out where I can talk about the changes. I can also see if, it's, uh, if I'm going to continue to run this weird build. Plus, if I get lucky in some of these chests, I might be able to finally get my 6 of 6 torch built too, which I'm also looking forward to. And since we got one core already, I'll need to get two more. I'll go opening up all those chests and see if I can get extremely lucky. Get the components I need. Alright, one, two premiums. I don't see the other one, so let's just go ahead and... Got a 50-50 shot. Missed it, of course. What? Alright, it's 33% chance. There it is. And that was useless. That was a waste. 
under 50. So many goggles. Ooh, look at that. Let's just get three more goggles, why not? At this point, there's no reason for me not just to clear out everything on the board with my goggles. How come I can't click on that? There we go. Don't know if that's gonna be useful, but I'm just gonna take it because I misclicked on plenty of other things that are useless at this point. That has the potential to be useful. More green, very nice. All the premiums, just looking for tech team. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Definitely going to go ahead and do this some way. Let's go here, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. I'm gonna waste that one big time. Goggles. Certainly don't want to get goggles. Ugh. All right, I'm not gonna waste that. I will do more wasting on the next screen. Forty-one to go. Seventy-three goggles. Ooh, a big chest. Nice. That might help me get the uh, cores I'm looking for. Or the materials to get the cores, I guess I should have said. That was probably quite silly for me to waste that hammer. The cutter. One, two, one more premium. One more tech team. God, I might as well use it. What? All right, that's fine. I don't even think I can use the goggles quickly enough to be able to get through all of them before the end of this video. Attacking 20% to crit, okay, whatever. Maybe someday, probably not. Let's go ahead and take that shape. Ooh, very nice. That was a nice little pull there. So get this one. Get this cash for sure. Wrong button. Wrong spot. Legendary blueprint. which would be perfect because that'll put me at 270 which would give me nine chests chances are that i will find another cutter on the board of course where am i at for cash 3.8 we're fine There's a chance i'm going to misclick a bunch of times as well Might as well just use them all. Fill up that entire board. One, two. Yeah, let's just do this. And I'll just take zombie assistant. Why not? And this is also a premium item guaranteed. So let's we'll go ahead and do that. More goggles. Lovely. Premium, yes. That's the bad one. Double data. Officer components. I see the end in sight. 21 more to go. Ooh. Cyclone set. 
We're getting a lot of cores, I must say. That's like six or seven, I think, right? And that's only one of them that's immediately useful for me, but still, that's uh, certainly a premium item here. Cash, very nice. Yes. So we're still looking for tech team here. So we know for sure it's here, so I guess I'll just do that. 16 more, so that's about two or three more screens, I'd say. Ooh. Um, at this point, there's really no reason to refresh. Might as well see what my options are on the board. In general, that would be the way to go, but it's just going to give me more goggles, which I don't need. So at this point, see what kind of premium items I can get. That's everything. I mean, I guess I can see there's cash, but there's really, you know, I, there's no reason for me not to do this. Because all the rest of these goggles are going to be wasted. So I might as well see what's on the board. Because like that, I can get a free free cutter. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, there's no reason for me not to do every single one. Although it's highly inefficient the way I'm doing it. Oh, I can't get to it. Ugh. All right, fine. Yes, thank you. Anything useful? No. Ooh, what do we have here? A legendary material at the very least. All right, again. If you got them, might as well use them. Three spots left. There's two of them. Last one. Nothing else. I got this one. Yes. What did I miss? Oh, the epic materials. Yeah, I don't want that. I'm just gonna un um, show the entire board and then just decide what I'm gonna get. Look at that, perfect fit, nice. All right, so we'll take you, take the cash, cutters. So we're gonna finish a little bit above 270. I don't know if it's gonna be worth spending to finish out the nice even divisible by 30 total number of cutters used. No, not you. But I will find that out very soon. If that's going to be worth it. I don't know if that's worth it. Cash, always worth it. Tech team. Alright, refresh that. Two more to go. So cash is at 8.3. We're fine. So again, I can go ahead and do this entire board. No reason not to do the entire board. And then I can pick and choose what I want out of all of the items here. Certainly not gonna get a legendary blueprint. I got a bunch of those, I'm not using them. Certainly don't need to go ahead and do the tech team because I'm I guess I could if there's nothing useful on this board. That would be one thing to consider, I suppose. So one more right here. That's the entire board. So we have... That, which is not huge. Food chest. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go... I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. Oh, I have to use a... Hmm, I have to use a cutter. How much do cutters cost? 315 to buy three. That is truly ridiculous. So in order for me to get 15, I have to spend 1500. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's a waste. All right, so do I go ahead and just waste my last two? Or 
Let me use one here knowing I'll get one on the next screen. I think that's where I'm going. Uncover the entire next screen and see what's on there. We'll take the best item. Maybe we'll get lucky, extremely lucky, and get another torch core. Nice. I'm not going to take that. That's a good sign that this is going to be a good board. Maybe that's not. Ooh. That's another headhunter. Not immediately helpful, but having two of those ready, it's going to be a nice little start. All right, so our last cutter is going to be a headhunter core. All right. Fine. That was worth it. Done. Whew. One hour and 35 minutes in. That is massively long. So let's start here and get this last one here out of the way. So I'm 83 in. I made a total of 83. Not very good. Seven away from getting to the next level. There's nothing there. Epic blueprint. That's nice. 83. Not even 10% of where the leaders were. Or the one leader, anyway. 10% of second place. All right. And I am at three over nine chests. So we'll, we'll stick with where we're at here. So nine more chests to get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. All right, let's see if I can have the same kind of luck I had the first time. Mm, doesn't look like it. If things aren't looking good, I'm gonna back out and go somewhere else and try to reset my luck. Oh, there's one. Still nothing exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Go. Start getting my happiness going, which I, I, somebody made a comment of, you can still get stuff even if they're not happy. I'm not doing this for my happiness. I'm doing that for my OCD of needing to click on the bubbles when they're there. But really, the for me, it's just getting out and kind of getting reset. And speaking of resetting, let's go ahead and do this last unification that we didn't do. What? Oh, we did. All right, in that case, let's max you out then. Purchase components? No, max. back like to keep my cash very low so I'm just gonna go ahead and spend all my cash since I'm not gonna get any of these chests here very nice all right that maybe reset our luck let's try again let's get something big here seven more chests to go one two three four five six items to go There's one. Deal splash damage, don't care. When attacking, 32% chance dealing damage in three seconds. Throws a stun grenade that causes enemy chemists and rangers to randomly change their targets. That's not very exciting. One, two, three, four, five more to go. That's not a good one. All right, next. Ooh, there's another one. Not very exciting, but still another one. Okay. One, two, four more to go. What are we looking for here? We're looking for the Blitzkrieg gear, Ranger armor, the tank turret armor, infantry armor, garage junk, and garage decoration. Two new items added with this release. The garage, there's one of them. Tank turret armor. Once in a while when taking damage deploys a nearby battle standard. The standard attracts the attention of enemies in a large radius around it. They start attacking it for two seconds. The standard detonates the deal to 10,000 damage in a small radius around it. I could see a potential use for that, not probably better than some of the items out there but there's potential use there three to go and we have four more to open up three more to open up not this time not this time all right so what do we got 
One more to open. Still chasing three items. Again, OCD. Not expecting it to change my luck. Last item of the event. What's it gonna be? Alright. Not. Ooh, nice! I'll take that one. Alright, that does it. The smash event is finally the smash raid is finally done two and a half hours to go before the event's actually over hour and 40 minutes into this video is massively long video thanks for anybody who happened to stay this entire time and making it through all of that that was that was huge so you know I, I did make the i posted the question or posed the question um if this is something you know i'm curious if people are even interested in something like this not necessarily the video that's now in 40 minutes that's ridiculous but interested in seeing me open up you know all of these boards and doing these boards or if it's just better to like save the premium chest and do those and do a video on that kind of stuff so um just looking for honest uh, feedback put it in the comments um be respectful but um Personally, I would not find that interesting to watch something like that. So I wouldn't be offended if you say that that's not something, you know, you'd want some a smaller video, more compressed with more kind of stuff or whatever you're interested in. Just curious on feedback on that one. I usually get a, a variety of type of answers to that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's it. Fairly successful. Got a lot of fantastic stuff. Got lots of cash, which really is great. Uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Um, recapping some of the things I got testing some of the new setups I got with all the extra chem chips or the legendary chips and talking about some of my, my weird build going and hopefully by that time I'll have my new uh, torch so I can do some testing on my, my torch and I won't be talking about my new build so we'll see. Um, hopefully you guys had success in this event hopefully you enjoyed it and I will be back soon with another one. So this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games and I will talk to you soon. See ya.